Hi everyone, Lucretia here. How are you going? Hope you're having an awesome uh, day wherever you are. I just wanted to jump on in front of this beautiful little Duomo in uh, Perugia. I'm right on the outskirts of Perugia and uh, this beautiful little church. If you have a chance to come and see it, I recommend it. It's just off uh, Corso Garibaldi. It's really lovely. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you today about is how it feels when you don't feel like you fit into your own life. Now, I have definitely been there. Those moments when you look around your life and you think, hang on, how did I get here? And this isn't actually who I am or what I want to be and, and how the heck do I get out? And what brought this up for me, I was just in the, this church and there's a pigeon stuck in there. It's got in through one of the open windows and can't seem to find its own way out. And it's too scared to come near anybody. And so it just kind of keeps building, you know, winding itself up and it's scared, etc. And it, it, the window's right there, but it can't see it. And what this made me think of is that so often we do feel like we are stuck in a life and we can't see the way out to where we want to be because we are so stuck in the fear about what a change might mean. We are stuck in, there's fears around judgment. So it's not just about what the changes might mean, it's also about what other people might think. It could also be because we are doubting, we actually feel like, hang on, I suddenly want to do this. Well, I want to do this for now, but it's, it, I, I can't push it down anymore. It's, it's, it's bubbling up, it's coming over the edges of the, of the glass, I can't hold it in. And who am I? Who am I to want something different when people looking at my life are saying how great I've got it, but I'm really unhappy. My life doesn't fit me. I don't fit into it. It can be a really, it can really freak you out when this happens. It's totally happened to me and yet it absolutely has freaked me out. For me, one of the first times is when I was, I was still married. And I got to this point where I started to make some changes in my life and I realized that I didn't want to be married anymore. But everyone around me thought I had the perfect relationship. I was the stable one, you know, I had this great guy and it was awesome on paper, but I wasn't happy. In fact, I was freaking miserable by the end. And I was so mean to myself that it took me two and a half years to actually build up the inner courage to leave not because he was a horrible person because he wasn't he's a great guy but we just weren't meant to go the distance but it was really hard to look to, to basically look around at my life and think this this life doesn't fit me now what now what and sometimes the now what there's just this big expanse of nothingness and we're like well I'm not happy I'm, I'm winding myself up, I'm scared to move, and I don't know what to do next. I, I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do. And this is um, often when people first come and see me and they say, Lucretia, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing or where I'm going, everything's on its head, everything's upside down. And my first response then is, what you need to do is go within. You have the answers within you and you're being called to look at your life and do a reassessment and go, hang on, this, is, this isn't right for me anymore, this, is, this doesn't make me happy. And you're being asked to look at what does make you happy. And if you don't instantly know that, and a lot of times we don't, then what you need to do is actually go and do some work. And the work you do on yourself is never done, you know? The work we do on ourselves is never, ever done done it is a lifetime path and if you're really committed to showing up for yourself then you are going to have learnings after learnings after learnings until the day you die and that's totally okay we're not supposed to know the answers right we're not supposed to know the answers at all but the first point when you start to feel like your life doesn't fit you anymore the first thing I recommend you do is you find a place quiet, you sit down, you take a pen and your paper and you start to get all of those thoughts and feelings out of you, out of you onto paper and then you read it back to yourself. And then you keep doing it. Daily journaling, for example, is such a really powerful tool to really start to clear out all that noise inside so you really can start to get to the truth. And remember too that sometimes we have 
taken off taken on so many other stories in our lives about who we are and what we believe that we do come to a point and suddenly we go hang on I don't think I believe that but I have believed it but now I don't and I don't think that's my story and often at that point we're really called to look on our stories that we tell ourselves in our heads that often aren't very positive by the way and aren't very supportive of ourselves we're asked to look at those stories and go hang on where does that story really come from is that really my truth or is that something that someone had told me when I was growing up a friend someone something I read once a teacher I'm really called to look at that stuff and question what is true for us and I get it you know I get that this is really scary stuff when this has come up for me when I've had those moments those turning point moments in my life when I've been really called on to question what I was doing it's really disconcerting because it's suddenly like you're wearing shoes that don't fit usually they suddenly feel way too small and that's when you know you're starting to grow right it's time to move it's time to expand it's time to learn more about yourself just got some kids walking up here the hill here it's a bit noisy so my question for you is if you are feeling like this what are you prepared to do about it are you prepared to stay in a life that doesn't serve you anymore are you prepared sorry they're quite noisy aren't they <laughs> are you prepared to make a change that's my question because you can stay in the life that doesn't fit you anymore that doesn't make you happy or you can choose to do something different and I guess what I'm doing is I'm inviting you to choose a different way right choose something different choose to look at your life and go hang on this isn't making me happy and then look at okay what is going to make me happy what do I need to change here and do I need help to make the shift in my life to get really super crystal clear on what actually really is important to me aside from all those stories that I've ever been told and that I've ever believed and if you want help with that then I really strongly recommend you get in touch with me. We can have a chat. It's no obligation, it's just a conversation. And we can look at where you're at and I can tune in energetically and we can work out if we're a good match to work together. And you might find that you're actually a really good, um, that my Live On Purpose program, which is what I've just developed and put out there into the world and I'm really proud of, is just what you need. It's about tuning into your passions, tuning into your intuitive power, and then getting to really crystal clear on your divine purpose so you can go out there and create change and serve humanity in the way that you want to do, in the way that's true for you. So I hope that's helpful, guys. If it was, please like and share it with your friends. And if you do feel like you're suddenly wearing shoes that don't fit you anymore, like your life doesn't fit, then know that you're just on the edge of an amazing opportunity to step forward, to expand and to grow. And yeah, it's, it's a bit scary sometimes and it can be uncomfortable, but you don't have to do it alone. And just know also on the other side of this growth trip, on the other side of this expansion is something even more amazing than you can possibly dream of right now. It's you serving at a much bigger level, in a much bigger way, having a much more positive impact and doing what is aligned with what's truly in your heart and in your soul. So I hope that's helpful. I'll chat to you all again soon. Bye for now.